We're here with Brendan Buckley on the Shakira El Dorado tour, and he's going to give us a, a quick tour of his gigantic hybrid drum set. Go for it, Brendan. Okay, well, welcome to San Jose. Uh, let's see. Well, let's start right here. We'll go, we'll go around in a big circle. These are my monitors. I know people know what monitors are, but here's a wedge and here's a sub. I have my electronic drums coming through these monitors. So they're not just in my in-ears, they're actually here. So there's actual sound and speakers moving. So it sounds nice and big, much like my acoustic drum set. So it's really important for me to have some kind of electronic sounds pumping on my riser too, to kind of equal the volumes. Uh, there's some cameras here because the camera crew likes to have different angles of my drum set. Here's my reflex drum pad. It's a good drum pad, not, not only for the bounce, but also because it's really quiet. So you can tap while the singer's trying to have her like discussion and stuff. My in-ear monitors, I have two sets of Jay Harveys. Uh, what else do we have? Here's a microphone where I can uh, tell jokes to the band in between the songs. I have a wireless belt pack and I have a wired belt pack. This, uh, it's good because in case one dies, I have a backup. Backups, you're gonna see there's a lot of backups. Here's two laptops running my software samplers. This is Native Instruments Battery 3 and Native Instruments Battery 3. Uh, this is my main laptop and here's the one that's my backup. It's muted right now. So they both fire simultaneously, but you're only hearing one. The other one is in case this one dies for some reason. I can flip a switch here and then it's and then it goes to the other the other one it goes back and forth between the two laptops right here and then uh, yeah so all of my sounds are in here you can see that the entire set list of the show goes in order and the sounds change as I go through each song if there's a song with no samples it means there's a no electronics on that song so there's not a Perro Fiel, Underneath Your Clothes, Me Enamore. You see there's different sounds for every song. Um, and then as we go around, what you're gonna find is there is a combination of electronics and acoustics. For instance, here is a timbali. Then we have some cymbals. And then we have a snare drum. This is a 13 inch, but it has a trigger attached to it. So there's some songs where I'm gonna have the acoustic sound which is microphone and the electric sound at the same time in combination coming out of the front house and then this is my main electronic snare I play this for most of the uh, songs that have an electronic backbeat I play this guy I have this here too for some auxiliary stuff if I have to play like two snare sounds like this back and forth I can do that I use this because it's really easy to tuck, tuck in here. Mm -hmm. uh, these are my, this is my Octopad, which gives me eight sources in a really compact spot if I have to do complex patterns. Mm -hmm. like these really complex uh, drum programming things. I don't have to reach all over. I can just do it all right here. And so tell me about the actual acoustic drums now, too. Yeah. So these are all DWs. Uh, this is a stainless steel uh, DW acoustic kit. Um, it's golden colored, which uh, goes with the theme of the tour, the Shakira Golden Tour. We've got 12, 13, 16, 18 inch acoustic toms, a 22 inch acoustic kick drum, 14 inch performance series snare, and 13 inch performance series snare. These are kind of like black beauties. And then we have my assortment of Sabians. We've got some Paragon Chinas. Uh, 19 inch crashes, 18 inch crash, 17 inch crash. We have some cymbal stacks. Cymbal stacks are really in, so. You know, this is a stacked hi hat. This is a splash cymbal on top of the bell of my ride. This is a, uh, like a little max stack, kind of a splash cymbal stack. Got some finger cymbals here. There's a, these are made by Big Fat Snare. These are some jingles I put on top of my hat. Gives it a little bit more uh, uh, bright color to it. Uh, look, another timbali. And then um, some maracas. I play for one song. Some brushes. There's lots of mallets on this tour. A lot of tom, tribal tom stuff and cymbal rolls. So. I have my assortment of mallets. Oh, I should show you on the floor all the kick drum stuff. 
This pedal is for explosions, believe it or not. Whenever she runs around the stage, if she hops up and down, I hit this. And it goes with the confetti and stuff. Because it's off sequence, uh, and there's no tracks going, sometimes she's just doing it at the end of a song, I have to have it done manually. Like that. This is my hi-hat, this is part of my double pedal. It's the other part of my main pedal. This is a double pedal that's actually hooked up to a V-drum kick pad, which you can see over there. It feels pretty cool. It feels almost like a real bass drum, so that's why I use that. And here's an extra kick trigger in case I have a verse sound and a chorus sound on the same song. I can switch back and forth. And there's uh, another trigger here on this snare, which in combination with this microphone gives me this snare sound. There's an actual trigger on this bass drum too, which I layer with the real bass drum on some songs. These are three pads that I do um, tom stuff or occasional alternate bass drum sounds, like different pitched bass drums. We'll go over here. What are we missing? I guess the only other thing is there's a percussion setup there, which I use for a solo uh, for one song. And there is some tribal percussion behind you over here, which is used for a few of her dance breaks. She does uh, a few ethnic, folkloric dance breaks, and I have to accompany her with these drums. 